The Mars rover has found basically exactly what it went there to find. When it drilled down in the first time it took a soil sample, it found that the clay soil sample it had was 20 to 30 percent smectite, which is a mineral found in the presence of water. And so you basically have scientists drawing the conclusion that because they found this soil sample in the place that they didn't even expect to find it, Curiosity was still had, had a few uh, had, a, had a couple kilometers left to go and that was the prime location this dried up kind of lake bed that they wanted to take these soil samples from but they were just doing this in the initial testing this first soil sample but they found pay dirt there which was kind of unexpected to them and really lends to the conclusion that okay you find this mineral that you're looking for and that pretty much supports the fact that there is water there and if there was water there then there was likely life. What the Curiosity team has found is incredibly exciting. When we combine what we've learned from our remote sensing and contact science instruments with the data that's coming in from Kemen and Sam, we get a picture of an ancient watery environment which would have been habitable had life been present in it. As an example, the information that we're getting from the Kemen instrument tells us that the minerals that are present in this lake bed sedimentary rock at John Klein are very different from just about anything we've ever analyzed before on Mars, and they tell us that the John Klein rock was deposited in a freshwater environment. This is an important contrast with other sedimentary environments that we've visited on Mars, like the Meridiani Planum landing site, where the Mars Exploration Rover Opportunity has been operating since 2004. At that site, sedimentary rocks record evidence of an environment that was only wet on a very intermittent basis. And when it was, the waters that were there were highly acidic, very salty, and not favorable for the survival of organic compounds. This is in direct contrast to the freshwater environment we're seeing here at the John Klein site. The SAM instrument was telling us that these rocks contained all the ingredients necessary for a habitable environment. We found carbon, sulfur, and oxygen all present in a variety of states that life could have taken advantage of. All in all, these few tablespoons of powder from a Martian rock have provided the Curiosity Science team with an exciting new data set that tells us that Gale Crater and perhaps all of Mars contained habitable environments. This is an incredible success for the Curiosity mission to Gale, and the science team is looking forward to digging deeper into Mars' ancient watery past in the weeks, months, and years ahead. It's just a great research opportunity for NASA uh, to look at Mars and see, all right, what went wrong? What happened to the hospitable planet that used to be there? Why is it now just this big red dust bowl? But congratulations to the scientists at NASA. They found what they were looking for. Now the rover is going to go around and, and just pick up a lot more evidence and uh, soil samples and um, just stuff for these guys to study. So it's a really fantastic day. Uh, you haven't really seen much about this story in the mainstream media, but this is a major, this is the major event. They found the evidence of water. So important day for NASA. Uh, congratulations to everybody involved in this project.